Okay, now we're going to try some snap rolls and a couple of variations thereof. The snap roll is basically a stalled uh, configuration in the airplane where you add full up elevator, you add full right rudder and full right aileron all at the same time and the airplane goes through a gyroscopic procession uh, where it pivots around the nose. Like right there, that's that's one snap. Okay, if you notice I led, I led with the elevator to get the airplane to brake. Brake, I, I mean as in, you know, showing some sort of pitch. Okay, so you add the elevator and do the snap roll and stop it. Okay, do a snap roll and stop. Okay, snap roll and stop. Now you can do it, you know, whatever direction you want to or yeah, however many you would like to do. It's, it's a timing maneuver uh, to be able to get the wings level and back to uh, the same position where they entered going into the maneuver. So the faster you carry the speed through it, the harder it will be to maintain the, uh, you know, be able to get it to stop where you want it to. So if you slow it down, that's a little bit of slower snap so you can actually see the rotation of it. Okay, we'll come back around and do another one. Okay, we'll do one to the left here. You pitch up, snap, and stop it. You pitch up, snap, stop. Pitch up, snap, stop. Okay, pitch up. You got roll, elevator, and stop. Now we'll turn, bring it around, and try a couple more. You pitch up, aileron, rudder, and you stop it. Okay. Now what happens if you let this go too far? It get really gets buried and ends up into a spin. Okay. So you want to get it stopped so that it's flying and, and keeps the same altitude as when you entered the start or entered the snap itself. So you pitch up snap and see we didn't lose too much altitude right there. Now there's some variations of it. You can do a half a snap, which is definitely a timing maneuver. Okay, you, you would pitch up and halfway through it you want to get the airplane to stop. So it's just a real quick burst of control surfaces, you know, up down and right when it starts to rotate, then you probably want to try to get a uh, get all the control surfaces back out in neutral as fast as you can. Okay, and we'll do one coming at us here. That's a half a snap. If you notice, the airplane actually did pitch. Okay, and it does it does break and does everything else, and you want to stop it inverted. Okay, now one of the little tricks that I have found, and I'll show one coming at you here, is that if you come at come at yourself and you do a half snap and you hold the rudder in that you used to. Uh, uh, do the snap roll whichever direction you you put the rudder if you just hold that just for a little bit longer coming out of it it will enable you to keep the airplane back on line for instance if we do just one right here and then let it go the airplane kind of changes direction and what I'll do is I'll show it I'll show one coming at me here so that way you can see that what I'm talking about now I'm going to do just a half a snap without holding the rudder and, okay It's just there's just a little bit of a change so now what I found if you hold the rudder the direction of the snap that you're that you've uh, done it just hold it a little bit longer it helps get the airplane back on line and flying the way you want it to so for instance like there now I just held just a little bit of right rudder now and then you then you slowly feather it out that's the easiest way that I found to do half snaps